Number 311. A certain angle has a supplement five times its complement. What is the angle? So yung supplement daw ng angle is equal to five times its complement. So ano nga bang supplement at complement? So yung supplement natin, for example, meron kang angle theta. Kapag in mo yung supplement dun sa angle theta natin, for example, theta supplement. Ang sum nila ay 180 degrees. Kapag complement naman, for example, meron kang theta ulit. Kapag in mo yung complement niya, theta complement, yung sum nila ay 90 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, yung theta supplement natin is equal to 180 degrees minus theta. At yung theta complement naman natin is equal to 90 degrees minus theta. So, since alam na natin yung supplement at complement, gawa natin ng equation to. So, yung supplement natin is equal to 180 degrees minus theta. Tapos, yung complement naman natin is equal to 90 degrees minus yung theta. So, solve natin ngayon yung theta. So, pag sinimplify mo to, equal to sa 450 degrees minus 5 theta. So, ilipat natin yung theta sa kabila, tapos yung 180 sa kabila. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 4 theta is equal to... So, 450 degrees minus 180 degrees, meron tayong 270 degrees. So, yung theta natin is equal to 270 degrees divided by 4. 270 divided by 4, 67.5 degrees. 67.5 degrees. 67.5 degrees. So, ito yung angle natin, which is letter A. Number 312. Each angle of a regular dodecagon is equal to blank. So, meron daw tayong regular dodecagon. Ang hinahanap ay yung angle niya or yung interior angle niya. So, meron tayong formula for interior angle given the number of sides of a polygon. So, yung interior angle natin or theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees divided by n. So, yung n, ito yung number of sides ng regular polygon natin. So, gamitin natin to para masolve yung problem natin. So, yung theta natin is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees divided by yung number of sides natin. So, ang regular dodecagon ay merong 12 sides. So, merong 12 sides yan. Kapag decagon, 10 yun. Kapag undecagon, 11. So, doon sa dodecagon naman, meron tayong 12. So, solve natin yan. So, 180 minus 360 degrees over 12. So, meron tayong 150 degrees. 150 degrees. So, doon sa choices, letter B ang tamang sagot. Pero saan nga ba galing itong formula na to? So, i-derive natin yan. So, for example, meron tayong circle. Tapos, meron naka-inscribe na regular polygon. So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung number of sides niya. Pero gumamit lang tayo ng apat na sides. So, meron lang tayong square. Pero assuming, hindi natin alam yung number of sides niya. Yung number of sides niya ay n. So kapag regular polygon, pwede mo siyang inscribe sa circle. So ngayon, meron tayong regular polygon. Pwede nating hati-hatiin to sa triangles. So yung number of triangles natin ay equal to the number of sides. At meron siyang central angle. And let's call it phi. Yan yung central angle natin. At yung interior angle ng polygon natin ay yung theta. So, ito yung theta natin, di ba? Ito yung theta natin. So, kung yung theta natin ay yung buong to, ibig sabihin, one half niya itong angle na to. Itong angle na nasa loob ng triangle. 
So, itong triangle natin na to, meron tayong angle dito. Ito yung phi natin. Sabihin na natin angle x to. The same din dito, angle x. So, para masolve natin yung angle x, gamitin natin yung rule of 180 degrees. So, since meron tayong 180 degrees sa isang triangle, yung angle x natin is equal to 180 degrees minus phi divided by 2. Divided by 2 kasi dalawang x ang meron tayo. Bale, x plus x plus phi is equal to 180 degrees. And since yung theta natin is equal to 2x, so doble nito yung theta natin, theta is equal to 180 degrees minus phi. Pero ano nga ba yung phi? Paano ba natin masasolve yung phi? So kung given tayo ng number of sides ng polygon, so ilang phi ang meron ka dito? Meron kang apat, di ba? Kasi merong apat na sides yung polygon mo. So ibig sabihin, yung phi natin is equal to 360 degrees divided by the number of sides or n. So palitan mo lang yung phi dito. Theta is equal to 180 minus 360 degrees over n. So yun na yung formula natin. So ganun lang kasimple yung derive yun. Number 313. How many sides has a polygon if the sum of the interior angles is 1080? So, given tayo ng sum of interior angles natin, which is 1,080. Ngayon, kailangan natin hanapin yung number of sides ng regular polygon natin. So, yung sum of interior angles natin is equal to yung interior angle natin times yung number of sides, or n. So, equal to sa 1,080 degrees. So, meron na tayong isang equation. Kailangan natin ang isa pang equation para masolve natin to, Kasi meron tayong dalawang unknowns yung theta or yung interior angle natin tapos yung number of sides so pwede natin gamitin yung formula natin kanina yung formula ng interior angle natin so yung theta natin is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees over n since ang hinahanap natin ay yung n isubstitute natin to dun sa naunang equation so palitan natin yung theta dito so ito magiging 180 degrees minus 360 degrees over n. Ito yung theta natin. Pinalitan na natin yung theta dito. Times n is equal to 1,080 degrees. So pag minultiply mo to ng n, equal to sa 180 degrees n minus 360 degrees. So mga cancel na yung n dito. Is equal to 1,080 degrees. So, ilipat natin yung 360 dun sa kabila. Yung n natin is equal to 1,080 degrees minus or plus 360 degrees kasi ma-add na siya divided by 180 degrees. So, solve natin yan. So, 1,080 plus 360 divided by 180. So, meron tayong 8. So, 8 sides. So, merong 8 sides yung regular polygon natin. So, based sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot. Number 314. The sum of interior angles of a polygon is 540 degrees. Find the number of sides. The same din to sa last problem natin. Given tayo ng sum of interior angles, which is 540 degrees. At ang hinahanap natin ay yung number of sides ng regular polygon. So parang kanina, yung sum of interior angles natin is equal to n times yung interior angle natin. Is equal to 540 degrees. At gamit yung formula natin ng interior angle, theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees over n. So, itong theta ay substitute natin sa taas dito. Yan magiging n times 180 minus 360 degrees over n is equal to 540. So, pag minultiply mo yan, magiging 180 n 180 degrees n 
minus 360 degrees is equal to 540 degrees. So, yung 360, lipat natin sa kabila. Mga cancel na yan, magiging plus 360 degrees to. Tapos, i-divide natin both sides by 180. So, mga cancel na yung 180 dito, madi-divide to ng 180. So, yung value ng n natin is equal to 540 plus 360 divided by 180. So, 5. Yung number of sides natin ay 5. So, based sa choices, letters yan tamang sagot. Number 315. Find the sum of the interior angles of the vertices of a 5-pointed star inscribed in a circle. So, meron tayong 5-pointed stars inscribed in a circle. Tapos, ang hinahanap natin ay yung summation ng angle of the vertices. So, ito yung example ng angle of vertex. So, meron tayong 5 in total. So, yung summation ng angle of vertices natin is equal to 5 times yung theta, yung angle na yan. So, para masolve natin yung theta na to, equivalent to sa 1 half ng angle na to. So, kung naalala nyo kanina, kapag yung vertex natin, yung vertex ng angle natin, lies on the circle, yung intercepted arc nya, yung angle nito, ay twice yung angle nito. Bala tong arc na to, 2 theta. Yan yung measurement ng angle ng arc na to. Since itong star na to ay regular, Ibig sabihin, yung mga sides niya, mga vertices niya, equally distant to each other. Ibig sabihin, itong mga arcs na to, equally divided. O itong arc na to, equal sa arc na to, equal din sa arc na to, tsaka ito, tsaka ito. So, ibig sabihin, lahat itong mga arc na to ay tig 2 theta. At alam natin na ang measurement ng angle ng isang buong arc or ng buong circle ay 360. 360 degrees is equal to so 2 theta times 5 ibig sabihin meron tayong 10 theta so yung measurement ng theta natin is equal to 360 divided by 10 meron tayong 36 degrees so ngayon para malaman natin yung summation of vertices i-multiply lang natin ng 5 yung 36 natin is equal to 5 times 36 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees. So, ito yung tamang sagot. So, doon sa choices, letter D.